Kids, it's time. Come on up. Did you see them kind of waiting for the word, right? All right. Come and maybe grab a seat right up here, okay? And I've got something I want to show you. Okay. How about I sit down right here, okay? Now, what I have in my hands is a manual for the stove that we have in our house. Do you have a stove? Or an oven? Yeah? What's your favorite thing to, to cook inside the oven? Mac and cheese, okay. Quesadillas. Quesadillas. Well, that sounds good. I'm coming to your house. Did you say pizza? I love pizza, too. Yeah? So there's a lot of things we can cook, you know, whether we cook it on the stove here or we stick it inside the hot box in there, the oven, you know? A lot of really yummy things we can cook. Now, this manual tells us a lot of things. It tells us how to operate the stove and the oven. It tells us how to clean it. It also tells us, and check this page out, gives us a lot of important safety instructions. Look at all those. Okay? What do you think are some of the important safety instructions that we should follow if we're going to be using an oven? Not to, what's, what parts? What parts should we not touch? Yes, okay. If these things are on, these burners are on, and you touch it, what's going to happen? Burn. You're going to get burned. Let's say you had a pizza cooking in here, right, Jace? Yeah. And you opened the door. Do you think you should just go ahead and grab that pizza? No. No, you, have to no. you, need, you need protection, don't you? Yeah, there's a lot of really important rules to follow when using a stove so that you don't get hurt, right? Don't put, yeah, you shouldn't put a lot of things in the oven. Yeah, like, like if you put a plastic toy in the oven, you think that'd be okay? Yeah, like burn the whole house. Yeah, actually, you could start the house on fire with one of these machines here. Now, all of these rules for the stove, do you know why they're here? They're here... So that so it, the, the oven helps you make food to stay alive, right? But all of these rules are here for your good, okay? They're here to make sure that you don't get hurt, right? So that you use the stove the right way. Now, we, we've been talking about the Ten Commandments, okay? Ten rules that God has given to us in the Bible. Do you know why God gave those rules to us? Because God loves us, and he knows what is best for us. Let, let's just pretend that no one told you not to touch this, and you did. You'd get burned, wouldn't you? That wouldn't be good. When your parents say, hey, make sure you don't touch the burners because they're hot, they're telling you that because they love you, and they don't want you to get hurt. Well, let's just pretend. Let's pretend that God did not give us the Ten Commandments, okay? Okay. One of the commandments is don't steal, okay? How would you like it if there was no rule against stealing and I could just come and take all your toys this next week? Would you like that? Okay, what if one of the rules, what if God did not have a rule against lying and I started going and telling lies about you guys? You'd probably get upset, wouldn't you? Another rule that God gave in the Ten Commandments is don't kill, right? That's an important commandment because you know what? People are valuable. They're made in God's image. Okay? We are to treat each other with kindness and love. So God gave us these rules because he knows what is best. He cares about us. And he wants us to know how we should live our lives. And so we've been talking about the Ten Commandments last week and we're going to do that again today. Now, can you tell me, you guys... What is the first commandment? Landon, what's number one? No other gods before God. That's the most important one, isn't it? We are to worship only God. We should love and fear and trust in him more than anything else in life. Okay? So pay attention while we talk about the commandments today, okay? And I'm sure you guys are learning them too in Sunday school classes and 
And you can learn them at home as your parents teach them to you. But they're very important. God knows what is best. He loves us. And he's given us some very important instructions. So when you see your stove today when you go home, you can remember, hey, you know, some of these rules here are here to help keep me safe. God wants us to be safe and happy too. God knows what's best for us. Okay. Well, thanks you guys for coming on up and you can head back to your seats.